How to write content for your infographics. Writing infographic content is like packing light. You learn not to take every favorite piece of clothing with you. You discover how to nail the right balance between function and aesthetics. The same principle applies when writing infographic copy. You can't write a thousand words in your infographic, but have to make sure that you're not missing essential information. Here are tips and tricks to ensure that every word in your infographic is keeping your reader engaged and not distracting them from your core message. Tip number one, decide on the type of infographic that you would like to create. Would you like to use a timeline infographic? Perhaps a comparison infographic would make your content more memorable and engaging. We've linked a guide to the different types of infographics in the video description below. Tip number two, understand the basic infographic structure. Like a good story, your infographic should have a beginning, middle, and end. Check the video description below for a link to the basic infographic structure. Tip number three, write your infographic headline with intention. According to Copyblogger, eight out of 10 readers will read your headline, but only two out of 10 will likely read the rest of your content. An excellent formula for writing headlines is Copyblogger's for use. Your headline should be useful, urgent, unique, and ultra-specific. Tip number four, make sure that your introduction supports your infographic headline. When writing an introduction for your infographic, imagine your reader asking, why should I care, when they'll read your headline. A good rule of thumb is to keep your introduction less than 100 words. The fewer, the better. Tip number five, write subheadings that provide additional value to your readers. Think of your subheads as guideposts that will further prompt your audience to read the rest of your infographic. Your subheadings should answer a question that comes to your reader's mind when they read your headline, arouse their curiosity, or highlight what a section in your infographic is about. Tip number six, use copy or text to support your visuals and not the other way around. When writing a blog post or an article, it's common practice to find visuals that will complement your text. Do the opposite when creating infographics. Your text or content should add more value or support your visuals. Tip number seven, label your charts, graphs, and data visualization correctly. Keep your labels simple and straightforward. In some infographics, you don't need to follow grammar rules like adding punctuation at the end when adding labels. Tip number eight, attribute correctly. Add footnotes and sources. Final words, when crafting infographic content, ask yourself, does the audience need to know this? If the answer is no, delete it from your infographic. Ultimately, you don't want your audience to say, whoa, this is information overload when looking at your infographic for the first time.